I started with a law firm uh, at a law school, 1976. Uh, at that time, it was called Sills, Beck, Cummins, Raiden, and Tishman. It was a small law firm that had just been formed two years before I arrived. It's now Sills Cummins, one of the largest law firms in the state of New Jersey. Uh, after that, I was recruited into work for CR Bard, which is a medical device manufacturer. I was recruited out of, after seven years at, uh, at Bard, I was recruited to be the general counsel of Congolian. Shortly after I joined them, they were sold uh, to a venture capital firm, and they didn't have any need for the lawyers. So with a package, um, uh, I started looking for other things um, uh, to do. That's when I ended up at Sony. Um, Sony stayed there for 23 years. And one of the things about working there, I worked on so many different things, all kinds of different things. Um, and it really provided me with the opportunity to grow as a professional. Uh, time came, though, after they had shifted their headquarters to San Diego, and I decided not to follow that for family reasons. The next time a package came along, I decided to take it. And since that time, I've been, uh, I've had my own private practice, but I've been fortunate enough to be able to teach. Um, I teach three different courses at, uh, at Pace Law School. And for a number of years, I also taught business law down at Kane. While I was looking for a job, in between jobs, if you will, I wanted to do something from a volunteer viewpoint. Most of my time was spent trying to find a job, but I really had time on my hands. And I was told to contact a guy by the name of Richard Semmel, who ran the Bergen County Legal Services Organization before, long before its merger into Northeast uh, Legal Services. And he convinced me I could help them in a number of ways. What I was doing was basically talking to uh, people who could not afford counsel, but were being sued by the likes of Macy's, okay, directly. You know, to skip forward now, maybe 15 years, um, we were looking at a variety of ways to do more outreach to the community in all of Sony's departments while we're still headquartered on the East Coast. And what the law department kind of was doing with things like Habitat for Humanity and Food Pantry things, all of which are great, okay? But there were four of us who wanted something a little bit different. And I think my first contact was Harold Rubenstein uh, here at Legal Services. How can you use us? And it just really went from there and evolved from there. And we got trained here. We had a great opening training session, Nicole Palmieri and... Uh, and Stephanie Setzer sat with us, walked us through the basics, and gave us volumes of stuff to read and go through. And they started us uh, at a crawl, okay? Handle this, okay? This woman wants to file an answer to the complaint, okay? What are her arguments, okay? So we pick up the phone and we talk to the client. We work through. And over time, they, they made us a lot more sophisticated and... Both Stephanie and Nicole have been great. When I call, I say, what the heck is this? And they say, okay, we'll try this, that, and the other thing. Really very supportive and being there for you. That's how I learned. That's how I learned. I think I've gotten better. For someone who is just starting the practice of law, quite frankly, in terms of skills development, there can be nothing better than this. All right? All your skills are called into play. You could be at big law, law firm, and never see a client, okay? Never be able to practice what is really the art of being a lawyer, the lawyering aspect of it. So from a very basic, basic viewpoint, putting aside the good things you do, it's really helps you hone skills that are gonna be essential to anything that you, that you do. I guess the next question you're likely to ask me about though is what about someone like me who's been working for years in, in, in some, some role. When I talk to them, it's a little bit different. I talk to them about the reward um, that comes from doing this. Uh, the sense of continued purpose and not being anchored to any particular client or thing or um, uh, situation, but being able to use those skills, use your substantive law back uh, knowledge uh, to really help. And I guess the message here is there's plenty of opportunity, okay, for in-house lawyers who think they don't 
know anything but what they do, or something related to it, to kind of, it's not even giving back, it's just recognizing that we're privileged individuals. Um, we have a license to do something that nobody else does. And part of it is, you know, finding that niche for you, okay, that not only makes you comfortable, but also you derive, derive a lot of your own professional benefit from, as well as good feeling about yourself. So I have had a good feeling about myself for since 2008 working with legal services. It's really just been great. Uh, uh, and the bankruptcy stuff has been, has been really interesting. I've learned a lot about bankruptcy along the process. Uh, but I think I've actually helped some people along the way.